Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tag video called the Cruelty Free Tag. And this, the original video for this tag is by NYC Georgette, but the tag was actually created by one of her subscribers, but she didn't make videos, so she asked Georgette to, you know, start the tag. So I decided to do this because I only buy cruelty free makeup and I thought it would be fun. So, I mean, if you're not into this kind of thing, then just exit out and I will have a new video up soon. So I'm going to get started with the questions on the cruelty free tag. And I would have to say Tarte because that's just my favorite brand overall and yeah, they just have great products and I really like them, so Tarte. Well, in recent months there have been a lot of brands that have been switching sides and you know going over to the dark side um, recently. Urban Decay, that was... I mean, I was disappointed because I wanted to get the Naked too, but I'm not really like attached to Urban Decay because I don't have that many of their products, but probably Revlon. They just recently were put on the PETA's Do Test list. I'm assuming that they're selling in China and that's why they were put on there, so I'm really crushed by that. No more Revlon lip butters for me, but you know, they're, they're testing on animals, so that's even worse than having no more Revlon lip butters. Well, I like a lot of them. Um, my overall favorite would probably be Physician's Formula. I like a lot of their stuff. And I also like Alme. Um, Wet n Wild is a good one. Elf. I really like Elf. Maybe that one. I, pr I have so many Elf products because they're just so cheap and you want to buy so many. Um, my favorite though would probably be a tie between Elf or... Uh, I'm just going to say Elf. Yeah. that I have the most products from them. So Elf is my favorite. Mm, that wasn't even the question, just one that you like. I like all of them that I mentioned. Um, that was a really rambly answer, sorry. But I thought OPI was, but then I like started researching it again the other day, and I'm not really sure now. I think they might be owned by a brand that tests on animals, so um, I thought OPI was. But I like Wet n Wild nail polishes, the Wild and Shine ones, and they are cruelty free, so... That would be my for sure answer. I'm not sure about OPI though. Actually, that's really hard for me because a lot of the like companies that make perfumes like Coach and Chanel, DKNY, like, I would like to buy are owned by companies like the perfume making and like beauty product making parts are handled by like Estee Lauder. She owns a bunch of them. Not she. That they own a bunch of them. It's kind of hard, but I like Bath and Body Works, like, in addition to their body sprays, I don't know if they still do this, but I have a couple of their actual, like, perfumes, like Eau de Toilette. Uh, I really like those. That's about the only one, and Bath and Body Works, to the best of my knowledge, is still cruelty-free, but I haven't, like, researched that lately, so. But that's about the only one. I know NYC Georgia mentioned in her video that um, she likes Sula perfumes, so I will definitely have to check those out. not really sure how I found out about it, um, like animal testing for makeup and stuff. I, I really don't know. I think I might have had something to do with PETA, probably. I think it was either something online or like PETA sent something in the mail or something like that. It was last summer when I was 14, I just like found out about it and then I started looking at the PETA lists and stuff. That was my first resource for cruelty free makeup brands and I bought a bunch of stuff from Mark. Cosmetics, which is like a sub thing of Avon. It's like affiliated with Avon, but it's targeted toward young girls. And at that time, Avon was cruelty free, so that was my first big cruelty free makeup purchase. And I decided I wouldn't buy any more makeup that was tested on animals. But then I, it's a shame though. Avon is now like selling in China, so they're testing on animals. But I really like the Mark products that I have. I still like them. I still use some of them, and they're like running out though now. So. I do eat some meat. Um, I don't eat red meat, which means like beef, pork, or any mammals are classified as red meat. So I do eat like chicken, turkey, so I eat poultry and fish, but not red meat. So I'm not like a vegetarian. I do eat meat, but not all meat. Mm -hmm. 
I like a lot of fruit. Like, I really like fruit, especially, not especially in the summer. It's just, there's more fruit available in the summer. But probably strawberries are my favorite fruit. They're just so good. I also really like grapefruits and pomegranates, but strawberries might be my all-time fave. I also like peaches, but, you know, everything's peachy, haha. <laughs> um, and my favorite veggie would probably be carrots. Carrots or parsnips. I really like both of those. I also like broccoli. So that is the cruelty free tag and I will have the questions in the down bar and also have a link to the original video by NYC Georgia and I'm going to post this as a video response to that video as well. If you want to find out more about cruelty free options and stuff, if you want you can like message me or um, I have a previous video talking about Estee Lauder's like switcheroo and also NYC Georgette talks a lot about that stuff and I know Veggie Beauty is a great resource as well. So anyway, yeah, that is the cruelty free tag. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys!